Hello dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope that you are all having a very beautiful and a blessed day. Thank you so much for joining me on the channel. If you have been blessed with the opportunity to see this video today, I ask that you subscribe to my channel to join the Happy Christian Family. And also please share with friends and family so that they may also receive the message of the Lord. In today's video is a rapture vision from one of our dear sister. I'm going to read it the same way it was delivered to us. No part has been taken out and nothing has been added to the story. Please watch this video to the end as I proceed. My name is Yosinia from United States. At 10.28 p.m., January 18, 2021, I experienced a dream that changed my life forever. In the beginning, the dream was a typical day like any other. The events of my day led me to be hanging out with family. But the frequency in the air was off, and there was a progressively heavy storm. I was with my mom, uncle, aunt, and my two sons, and stepdad. So we went to a water park or amusement, I can't remember what it was, maybe evacuation. In the dream, we had taken a moment to pray for me, I was not doing as well as I would like, and the weather was getting bad. During the prayer, I felt the pull of energy that I had been feeling during the dream. Toward the end of the dream, we gathered in a room similar to my studio here at my grandma and grandpa's house. I don't remember how, but we felt this weird shock of energy as if a timer was going off in our heads. Louise goes to get us some drinks from wherever we were, and the baby is asleep. The baby monitor beeps, and the sky light up, and I was then in the bathroom doing makeup. I come out and ask if they feel oxygen, almost escaping their bodies. At this point, I can actually feel this sensation in my body. I thought I was awake earlier in the dream because of this sensation. The baby monitor goes crazy again as if something is interfering with the frequency, I feel the shock inside my soul. There is a bright light outside though I do not know what it is. Kaden looks at us all and says, it is time. The baby monitor begins to beep heavily as if we are in celestial frequency. My final thought is, I need to go get Luis, but when I look at Albert, Naki, my mom, and Kaden, we all knew it was time to pray. What happens next was unexplainable. We all hold hands like magnets, unable to do anything else, as prayer and scripture inevitably pour from our tongues, and time begins to slip away from our souls. I felt our beings stretch through time and space, and my heart is pounding. I am fearful and excited and scared and could still feel the hands of those to my left and right. My soul was stretching, and everything turned white, and the immediate sense of fear had left me as I knew it was finally time to meet my Savior. And just at that moment, I faded to black and awakened here in bed. My heart had been pounding, and I knew it was beating beyond my control during the dream as if I had truly lived it. The only thing I heard in my head at the end before waking is, time is almost up. My brothers and sisters, we need to get prepared, for the kingdom of God is at hand. So thank you for watching this video to the end. Please help us get this message out to the rest of the world by sharing to all your friends and family members. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, 
please do so right away so that you can receive other videos on God's word in the days and weeks ahead. I'm grateful to you and may God continue to bless you till our next meeting.